What's going on today, everybody? Today, I'm going to be going over my honest opinion and review of what I feel is one of the most invaluable pieces of equipment to have in your garage as far as tools go, and that is the automotive vacuum leak smoke test machine. Uh, this little unit right here, the one that I'm going to be reviewing, is made by AutoLine Pro. This version is the lowest budget version that they do offer. They offer this in a couple different varieties and I'll get into uh, another version a little bit later on. But I've had this unit here for well over a year now and put it through different kinds of situations. And I just wanna go through you know, your setup, what kind of comes with the kit, my overall opinion on it as far as using the unit goes, and just some other odds and ends as far as you know, pros and cons, etc. cetera. So um, we'll get into the setup of this here in a moment. Uh, just to note that this is not going to be a, a how to vacuum leak test your car. I've got a video on how to use this uh, on my STI if you're interested to search for that. But uh, we'll get into the setup of this unit right now. So this is what you get with the kit overall. Uh, there is a nozzle that comes with it, but being the shade tree mechanic I am, I have lost the nozzle over the last year. So there is a nozzle that comes with the hose so you can plug the nozzle in various areas for uh, different uses. So you do get a nozzle, I've lost mine, but you get the electrical setup. It is fused with a 10 amp fuse. Uh, you get the one PSI pressure regulator to keep from putting too much pressure into your system, blowing seals out, etc. There's a marble that you put in the fluid down here. It's a fluid level. You fill the fluid level up to that over top of that marble. You know, you don't want to put too much in there. And you can see, you see the heating coil, you know, to heat the fluid up and generate the smoke. But we'll get into actually how to set all this up. It's a basic setup of the machine. You want to set it on something solid and heat resistant. Because this little thing gets hot really fast. So you don't want to put it on any plastic bits on your car or anything that might melt. But as far as the electrical setup goes, you got your negative terminal, positive terminal connected. You run it down, this little connector on the back, and you have to screw it on there nice and tight. The way you can tell if you got good power is uh, it lights up blue when you got a good connection. And it says 15 minute max cycle, or this thing usually takes about five minutes to get hot enough to generate smoke. So just bear that in mind. But you want to feel this uh, oil up above the marble fill line. Now, one thing to note, the fluid that they sell with this machine tends to not smell as bad as baby oil or mineral oil. Baby oil and mineral oil will work, but it stinks quite a bit. And the oil that they give you with the machine, if you make that purchase with the machine, uh, tends to not smell as bad. So you fill it up to that fill line, you put your lid on and pack it down you know hit it around all four corners and then you start the machine and we'll let it set here for about five minutes you can see it's been almost five minutes so we hooked our airline up to the pressure regulator you can see it's smoking pretty good the longer it sits i'd say six seven minutes you'll have some really good thick white smoke coming out of there and then that's when you just attach it to whatever you want to check for your leaks. Please note, as I said, stated earlier, when you do unhook it to go to move this, you know, you kill the power, I would let that thing set for a good 10, 15 minutes before you go to move it because it is going to be extremely hot if you go to touch and that way you don't burn yourself. So just going over some particular uses for the unit and just uh, some of the uses that I've personally used it for is first and foremost is the vacuum leaks on the vehicle and you've got your battery source right there to power the machine so it's used primarily for automotive vacuum leaks you know it's what the namesake is so that's what the primary use is but some other secondary uses that I've used it for is exhaust leaks but one thing to be noteworthy of on the exhaust leak is if you do use baby oil or mineral oil instead of the oil that comes with it the baby oil or mineral oil due to it stinking more if it saturates into the muffler material for the next few drives that's what your car is going to smell like it's, it just flat stinks but just bear that in mind if you do use the baby oil or mineral oil instead of the oil that comes with the machine so another third option that i've used it for is water leaks if you got a pinhole in a line or something cut your water off and 
get the smoke tester out, smoke test your water lines, and it usually pops right up. You know, it's behind a wall or whatever. I don't have any film of that because you all know if you got a water leak, your primary focus is get the water leak fixed. So, you know, it's just some of the uses I have found for the unit overall, but we'll just get right into some of the pros and cons of the unit. So the first and foremost pro to this machine is its ease of use and setup. As you saw, I mean, you're talking about setup and use time of approximately 10 minutes total. I mean, and that's including heating up the unit, et cetera. So ease of use is big as far as the pro goes. Second pro is it's small packaging. It's a very small unit. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your shop or around the house. So that's always a good thing. It's uh, another pro, relative low cost compared to other units. The unit here is roughly $90 with fluid, so 90 bucks. I've seen some smoke testers go for you know, hundreds of dollars, and some of them are really uh, advanced. You know, I could get it if you were in a commercial shop, something like that, you probably need. But around the house shop, you know, 90 bucks, it's, it's kind of hard to beat as far as that goes. Another big uh, pro plus for it is, of course, the multiple uses around the house due to its small size. You can take it in the house, take it wherever you need to. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space, so uses around the house are a big, big plus for this little unit. And then the coil itself has a lifetime warranty. The smoke coil does, has a lifetime warranty, so that's good. And if the unit ever goes bad, of course, the coil goes bad, free replacement and the whole unit itself has a one year full coverage warranty, which again is great in my opinion. And another uh, pro is it's a, a small business. So if you do buy this, it's a small business and made in the USA. So that's, uh, that's always a good thing for small businesses here in, here in our country anyway. Now, as far as the cons go, and um, this is kind of alluding to the fact that there are different versions of this. so. If you wanted a, a more robust version, you could get one of the different ones, but the main con for the lowest end budget is the fact that it is a little bit flimsy. It's basically a small paint can, as you can see. Uh, so it's kind of flimsy on the side, and that's why I say there's another version. It's called the shop version. It's roughly uh, $30 more, I think. I think it's 120 bucks. Has a little hanger on it and the can's made a little bit better and the can's red. It's about all the distinct differences I can make out from the two. Everything else seems to be exactly the same, just a little bit more robust. You know, just like I said, it's a little bit flimsy and you're not gonna be beating and banging around, but that is a definite con. Another con is, is the fact that you could potentially make this unit for probably one third the cost if you are able to do so. Go source the parts yourself you could probably make it for 30 bucks or less. I mean, it's just, it's a very simple setup. Like I say, it's basically a paint can, some cables and some rubber hose. So in a heating element. So you could probably do it for one third the cost of the total unit. Another uh, distinct con is for those uses around the house, you would have to lug around a power source. So you'd probably have to take the battery out of your car or have another 12 volt car battery laying around or another 12 volt source. To hook it to in order to do that. I know when you check for a water leak, I had to pull the battery out of the car. That was the only thing I could think of at the time, worked. Uh, so I can't really say much about that, but you do have to lug around a power source to get the unit to work. As far as cons go, that kind of wraps up the cons. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of cons to it. Like I say, it's a, it's a budget unit. So you kind of get what you pay for. And you know, it's not gonna be a big tech unit, not gonna have all the bells and whistles. So it's just kind of, you know what you're getting when you buy it. So as far as do I think it's worth the price for $90? And uh, my opinion is yes, to me, it is worth the $90. Um, you know, I can't, I can't fault it. It's been a good machine for well over a year. I've used it several times. Check vacuum leaks, like I was talking about water leaks, exhaust leaks, etc. It's just, it really comes in handy. I feel like the $90 is well spent for what uh, the peace of mind that it will provide when you're trying to do things yourself. You know, you take your car to the shop, get it checked for vacuum leaks, they're probably going to charge you 200 bucks just right off the bat. And when you could have done it at your house for 90 bucks. So 
this little machine to me is invaluable and uh, I highly recommend it. Like I say, if you want a more robust version, you can get the, the shop version. Probably should have got the shop version when I found this, but I was in a hurry to find one. I was searching for vacuum leaks, so the first thing I found had good reviews and I gave it a shot and it hasn't let me down. So like I said, highly recommend it and uh, I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please leave a like. We'll catch you in the next one.